Hello everyone, I am so happy to see you again. Remember my name is Mrs. Diaz and today I'm going to teach a kindergarten lesson on sunlight and weather. Lesson 1.1 part 2. Last time we met we talked about different types of weather. In talking about different types of weather we learned two very important words. To observe and to predict. In this lesson, you will need to use that knowledge. You are going to use your observation skills that you already learned as scientists in our last lesson, and you're going to use your prediction skills. In making predictions last time, we used a storybook called What is the Weather Like Today? Today, we're going to use a different type of observation tool. We are going to use pictures. We're going to look at pictures and based on what you already know and based on what you're looking at using the sense of sight, you are going to make predictions as to what type of weather it is. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's begin. So today I am going to show you some pictures of different types of weather. In our last lesson, we learned that different types of weather can be rainy, sunny, cloudy, windy, and snowy. If I look outside my window right now, I notice that it's sunny and it's also cloudy. So it depends where you live, the weather could be different. So just take a second and look outside your window, don't go outside. Just take a peek outside your window and tell me what kind of weather do you have today? Go ahead, I'll give you a few minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and peek outside my window. So, what is the weather like today? Let me hear you. That is quite interesting. Thank you so much for doing that activity with me. Okay, so are you ready to begin? I'm gonna show you different types of pictures and you are going to guess what type of weather is today. Let's begin. In looking at this picture, I'm gonna give you a few minutes to think about this. What's your answer, Sunny? Is it a sunny day? Are you ready for the next picture? Let's take a few minutes. Let's look at the picture. What's happening in the picture? I see leaves flying in the air. Hmm. I remember in the last story, leaves were flying in the air and there was a weather with that. Hmm. Do you remember? I do. Did you say windy? Yes, that's right, windy. You guys got this. Are you ready for the next one? Okay, let's see. I see lots of things happening in this picture. I see snow. I see cars covered in snow. Hmm. Could that be... Could it be snowy? Did you say snowy? Are you sure it did? Yes, it's snowy. Are you ready for the next one? I am so excited, I cannot wait. So, so far we've had sunny, windy, snowy, hmm. I wonder what could be next. Let's find out. 
Oh boy. I happen to love this weather. Hmm. Let's look at it. We see water. I see an umbrella. Hmm. Could it be rainy? Do you remember in our last story that when it was raining, there were puddles on the sidewalk? There was water on the leaves. So many things happen when it's raining. All right, are we ready for one more? Let's see. Oh boy. So as you guys know, I live in Seattle, Washington. And in Seattle, we have a lot of days like this. Those of you that live in Seattle, Washington can guess this right away. And I'm sure you're already saying, it's cloudy. It sure is. It's a cloudy day. It's a cloudy day. All right. So now, the next pictures that I'm going to show you are going to have a combination of weather. So for example, in our book from last time, there was a day that it was sunny and cold, right? Okay, so it could be sunny and cold. It could be cloudy and windy. So there's different types of weather. So let's see what we have in the, in the next slides. So here we have some palm trees. It's a beautiful day, but I also see that the palm trees are turning to the side. That usually tells me that it's, you tell me, you tell me. Yes, it's windy and it is sunny. Great job. Are you ready for the next one? I know you are. Let's continue. So now we have a picture of clouds. I see lots of clouds, but these clouds are not dark. They're bright. So this tells me that it's sunny and cloudy. Did you guess the same thing? I'm sure you did. All right. You guys are so smart. So I'm going to show you more. Here we have a cold and rainy day. A cold and rainy day. In our next picture, let's take a look at this picture. As you see, it is snowing. Hmm. But it is also sunny. It is a sunny, snowy day, which tells me that even though it's sunny, it is also cold. So a lot of things are happening in this picture. That is a beautiful picture, by the way. So let's see our last picture. Oh, here we have wind lots of wind okay so now we're going to take a look at different types of weather but we're going to choose it could be one or the other because sometimes pictures shows us different things so looking at this picture i can say that it is windy or sunny. Would you agree with me? Okay, are you ready for the next one? This one I want you to think about it before I give you the answer. Let's take a look at this picture. In looking at this picture, what things do you see? I see clouds, I see that it is clear. Hmm, what two words can we think about? I'll give you a minute to think about it. 
Did you say sunny? Or did you say cloudy? If you did, you are correct. It is sunny or cloudy. Let's look at our next picture. What's happening in this picture? I see rain. It looks dark. Hmm. Could it be cloudy? Could it be rainy? If you said any of those two things, your answer is correct. It is rainy and it is cloudy. Let's see what else I have here. This next picture is beautiful. Look at that. I see snow. I see the sun. So if I see snow and I see the sun, based on what I know, I can tell that it is a tummy. Yes, sunny or snowy. What a beautiful day. Wouldn't you agree with me? Okay, I have one more picture to share with you. Hmm, let's look at that really good. I see trees. Remember we talked about trees when they sway to the sides. But I can also look closer. Do you see what I see? Hmm, I see some water. Hmm. So by looking at that, by observing and making observations, I can predict that it's rainy or windy or both. You did such a good job. Give yourself a big hand for making amazing observations. So we've used observations by looking at a book and predicting the story by looking at pictures. And now we looked at pictures and we used the knowledge that we already have as scientists. And based on that, we made our predictions. Okay, so now I'm going to share with you an activity in the next few slides. Are you ready to join me? Okay, let's do it. So we've looked at different pictures of different types of weather. Now we will look at ways to act out different types of weather. Then we can use our bodies to show these different types of weather. Now we're going to do this together. I might make a mistake, you might make a mistake, but that's okay. It's okay to make mistakes. We're going to learn this together. Are you ready? All right. So wherever you are, make sure that you're in a safe space because we're going to be moving our hands, all right? So I need you to pay close attention to me and based on what I do, I just want you to repeat it. Again, if I make a mistake, that's fine. I'll fix it and so can you. Are you ready? Let's begin. So here in this slide, you can see that we're going to be making movements. I'm going to move my picture up here so that you can see better. All right. So we're going to look at different types of movements for sunny, cloudy, windy, rainy, and snowy. And in looking at what it tells me to do, for sunny, we're going to take our arms and we're going to put our like a circle and we're going to wiggle our fingers. Are you doing that with me? Isn't this fun? Okay, are we ready to do cloudy? All right, for cloudy, we are going to make circles with our hands and our shoulders. So we're going to be doing like this. Okay, that's cloudy, cloudy. All right, you're doing such a great job. Okay, are we ready for windy? Windy, we're going to just sway our arms, just like the trees, back 
and forth and back and forth. Wow, you're so good at this. All right, are we ready to do rainy? So for rainy, it just says to take our hands and put them in front of us and then wiggle, 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 wiggle. That's rain. Shh. Rain usually comes down, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now we're going to do snowy. For snowy, we're just going to wiggle our fingers and wave our hands down. So we'll be like this. Shh. You guys are doing an amazing job. Let me look closer. That is wonderful. Thank you for doing that with me. It means so much when you're able to do activities with me. And it's so much fun, isn't it? Okay. So we're almost done with our lesson. And I have a couple of things that I want to share with you. Are you ready? Okay. So we're going to be talking about recording new ideas. As you know, as scientists, when we learn new ideas, we record them so that we can remember and so that we can show what we've learned. So we're going to do that together. You don't have to worry about getting paper, pencil. I'm going to do it for you. I just want you to continue to observe. Okay? All right. So, let me move my picture again so that you can see better. My chart says what we know about weather. So we're going to use this chart to keep track of what we know about weather. We have learned that there are many types of weather. We have words we can use to talk about different types of weather. Do you remember those words? I hope you do because we're going to use that right now. Okay? And you know, even though I, I'm talking to you through a computer, I actually hear you. And I actually see what you're doing. Isn't that cool? Yes. Okay. So now, what we know about the weather, different types of weather. So now our chart shows what we have learned about different types of weather. And I can see by looking at the pictures that we've learned about sunny weather, cloudy, rainy, windy, and snowy. So the key concepts that we learned about today is that weather can be, I hear you, you're saying it. You've learned so much, yes. Weather can be sunny, cloudy, windy, rainy, or snowy. Remember the movements? Yes, I want you to remember the movements when you think about the different types of weather. That's gonna remember, remind you, sorry, it's going to remind you what the weather is like. So, your job after this lesson will be to find a piece of paper and something to write with. And I want you to create your own types of weather. In your chart, you should have rainy, snowy, Cloudy, windy, and snowy. And you see, these pictures are so easy to draw. But I know a lot of you, on top of being scientists, you're also artists. So if you want to add more detail in your picture and in your poster, go ahead and do that. All right? So, I had a great time talking to you today. And I want you to think, hmm. What new ideas did I learn about today? I learned that there are different ways of observing. I learned that sometimes there's more than one weather when I'm, look, when I'm making an observation. So you have learned so much. I'll see you in the next lesson. I cannot wait to see you again. Take care.
Goodbye.